right, let's do it. Your mission today is to retrieve the nuclear missiles and their launch codes. They are being transported in the wrecked cargo ship along the shore. The lines of neck will know you're on the way, and resistance will be heavy. Once everything is in your position, you must contact us immediately with the codes over the secure line. Good luck. And that company, failure is not an option. I took a break from armored warfare. I was sick of getting my butt shot off. I'm coming back to it now. I'm gonna advance this leopard here to the leopard 2 ax cat and mouse game right here. Since I've come back to this game, I kind of play it differently than with the way I used to. Played this game all summer. I stopped playing it in early November. Since then I've had Five matches, maybe. I'm sick of getting killed all the time. Ordinarily, I go out with high explosive anti tank ammunition. But this time, I'm going out with armor piercing. video playing, I had to stop it. <laughs> Play, played on tier 10 for a couple of months. And coming back to tier 9 is kind of a different experience. Uh, my, my, the, the players on my team, they played differently on tier 10 than from tier 8 or tier 9. Hi, buddy. I'll take this guy instead. He's the biggest threat anyway. the high explosive anti-tank ammunition. You have to make precision hits to do any damage, whereas with the armor piercing I have more leeway. I usually go this route. I usually go down. Taking a break has changed the way I play the game.
about five major titles in the past three months. But I've never played a game as much as I've played this one. I guess this is my favorite game. I mean, I had a lot of fun playing Star Wars, Jedi Fallen Order, Need for Speed Heat, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Forza Horizon 4, Grand Theft Auto 5. fight this part from the other side, but, uh, I don't know. When you take a break, things change, you know. I also noticed Armored Warfare changed a little bit since I last played it. 